As you say goodbye to Jimbo, uh, you notice a familiar figure walking in through the same gate. It's your friend Poppy. Hey, you're not dead. <laughs> hey, Poppy. How you doing? Welcome back. How are you? So what's up with this new you? What happened? Why did you wake up a suddenly better person? Oh my God. Let me tell you all about it. You would not believe. I already don't. I already don't. <laughs> <laughs> Wolfgang and Poppy, you begin to wake up. You're in the middle of a jail cell, and you see that there are three other people in this individual cell. How's it going over there? I'm Ted Pole. I'm Lizard Wizard, damn it! <laughs> oh, how interesting you guys are here. <laughs> Welcome to Prepare to Dice, an animated Dungeons & Dragons actual play series. My name is John, and I'll be your dungeon master today. But please, join me in welcoming the real stars of the show, our lovable legionnaires. <laughs> hey guys, it's me, Raghav. And I'm not DMing this time, I'm playing Wolfgang Buck. I'm Andrew, I'll be playing Ted Pole. He's a bullywog rogue, a frog rogue, or frog, as I like to think of it. <laughs> Hello, I'm Christine. Today I'll be playing Lizard Wizard. <laughs> uh, hi, my name is Renee, and I'm playing Pleba, who's a turtle bard. Hi, my name is Jagdhuti, and I'm playing the same old poppy seeds. I'm back, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Without further ado, let's prepare to dice. Prepare to dice. Side quest. Ted Pole, you are now free. All right, I'll, I'll make my way over to the uh, the other cells to try to get them out too. Everyone's free. I appreciate you trying. <laughs> uh, can I try to run out the door? Sure. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll follow. I'll. Uh... All right. I will follow everyone else, but at my own pace. Yeah, at your own pace. You actually just zip on up those stairs, and as soon as you cross that threshold, you're no longer inside the building. Instead, it looks like you're standing inside of a clock tower. How high up does it look? Investigate. 10. It's gotta be at least 10 feet tall. It's at least 10 feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> Pleba, you see a giant staircase and you can actually tell it's at least 60 feet tall to the top of this clock tower. I know exactly how tall this staircase is. It's 60 feet it's ten, tall. 10 feet. No. <laughs> and I walk over to a buck and go, why would you climb the stairs when there's a perfectly good elevator right here? And I just sit in the bucket. Bucket? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going to lift up the bucket and just start climbing the stairs in the bucket. <laughs> yeah, I follow Wolfgang and I go up the stairs. Yeah, I'll, I'll follow too. Yep. The turtle takes the lead. Damn, that's a speedy turtle. <laughs> and then you reach the top, but you do realize you all have your weapons and gear. Poppy, I need you to make a perception check. I got a 19. When you open your eyes, your vision is red, and you're not sure why that is. But as you kind of try to wipe it away, you wipe blood out of your eyes. And on the ground is Rocco, Timbo, Yorn, and Wolfgang. They are all dead. <gasps> oh my god! And then your entire scene changes. You're standing on an airship. All of you are standing on top of Poseidon's Rift. Wolfgang, you're home. Oh shit! Wait, is this real? First, how does my ship look? Uh, do I see my first mate anymore? All right. Uh, roll investigation for me. Nat 20. Nat 20, okay. You are able to see your ship has almost never been in better condition. Happy is nowhere to be seen. All right. The ship is amazing. I'm not <laughs> that clean and we just fought a fucking Kraken. So clearly this is not real because ship can't fly without Happy. <laughs> Pleba, you see a giant tentacle wrap around the top of the ship as a creature begins to pull itself up. All right, so I'm going to use Bardic Inspiration. I pull my lute out and I sing a little song from you guys can't understand it. <laughs> but it's still inspiring, right? We can tell it's a jam. Hopping. Cool. I'd say it, it's peaceful yet energizing. <laughs> That's my jam. So that works for all of you. You have bardic inspiration that you will be able to use at your choice. Which is 1d8. And for 10 minutes, the creature can add it to one ability check, attack roll, or saving throw. Another tentacle wraps around the ship and the ship kind of angles down a little bit. Mother of fuck, not this again. I vaguely remember something like that happened. <laughs> oh, Sorry, it was a big thing. I'm acting, Raghav. 
<laughs> what? So I would like to use the spell Hunter's Mark on the Kraken. So until the spell ends, I deal an extra 1d6 damage to the target. Okay, cool. I'd like to use my Vicious Longbow. It's good, I got a 19. You hit this thing. So that's 7. And I'll roll a d6. 11 points of damage. We're gonna go ka Magic Missile, baby! <laughs> <laughs> Four, three, three. <laughs> and you hear the entire world shake. And I want to take my um, staff, point it at where the Kraken is, and I, I want to cast Lightning Strike. Uh, and it needs to make a DC 17 deck saving throw and take 96 Whoa. damage Jeez. on a fail. Wow. Yeah, that's a nat one. <laughs> 30 damage. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. So all of a sudden, it went from a nice clear sky to just being entirely painted with storm clouds as lightning rains down on this kraken from every feasible direction. It's dead and in reality blurs for a second. And you're able to see that there are four ghostly figures. Lightning hit and made some room that was activated and the airship disappears. Everything goes black. Poppy, Wolfgang, you see Happy. Captain! It's my utmost pleasure to see you back in the realm of consciousness. I have stood vigil over your insentient body for two cycles of the moon, and it is my immense honor to welcome you back to the world of the sapient. The same goes for you, Miss Poppy. I f I'm in a daze. I don't know what's going on. He's speaking a whole lot of gibberish, but I think, Poppy, you need to go to the Arcane Academy. Oh, okay. Wait, are you leaving? Where are you going? I'm going to go get a drink first. Oh, can I join you? Yeah, sure. Let's get drinks. Yeah, I'll come for a drink and then I'll go. As yeah. the three of you walk into a bar, you see three figures, drinks in hand. A turtle, a lizard, and a fish. A fish? A frog. <laughs> Wait, who's the fish? <laughs> <laughs> There's just a different person, the frog is on there. <laughs> Close enough. Drinks on me! Oh, Thank you. Yay. I know you. <laughs> That's fun. I wouldn't have done it, but I'm glad it happened to me. <laughs> well, let me say I personally love the new you, but I wouldn't mind if you turned it down a notch. We have some work to do. <laughs> hey, I hey, guess. hey. You have it on oh, all the time. My I can bring it God. up a God. notch. We're splitting up the gang. <laughs> <laughs> Timbo, who wears it better? Who's to say? No one no one can say for sure. <laughs> But you're both absolutely glowing, absolutely radiant. Fine, we both are glowing. Female empowerment. Feminism in it. <laughs> so, uh, you find yourselves being led down a long hallway as you follow the headmaster. I can't thank you enough. You've done us a great, great service. Please, accept these as a token of my thanks. These gold coins are imbued with a moat of luck. If you toss them once a day, before you try to accomplish a big task, you will be sure to succeed. I hope this will come in handy for what seems like a sizable quest. And he gives each of you a lucky coin. After I toss the coin, heads or tails, doesn't matter, or as long as I toss it, good to go, lots of good luck. You toss the coin once a day, you're gonna get heads no matter what. Ah, uh, nice. After that, it's just a regular coin for the rest of the day, so. I like you know. those odds. So he leads you into a large chamber where there's a huge doorway in the middle of the room. Give me an hour to get the teleportation circle working, and I'll have you on your way in no time. Sounds good. I feel hungry, I don't know about you guys, but I haven't eaten in a while. I'd be bad, yeah. All right, I'm always down eat. Just had some dream eggs. I don't even know if they were real. <laughs> Rocco, can you may uh, just roll a d20 for me? I got a nine. So uh, you guys head out of the chamber and you you start like looking around to see if there's a, it is a academy so there might be like a mess hall or something. Suddenly, uh, Timbo, you realize that Rocco's not there. Uh oh. I do a I do a quick head count. Something seems off. All right, we got one, we got two, we got three. Mm -hmm. That seems fine to me. Who's hungry? Everybody's still hungry? <laughs> All right. Let's get some food. <laughs> 